Wearing trances Going all to different places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed You like the fast life You like to drive get down and dirty Like, like the bad guy You want some love, you like when you feel like calling me Good morning. Oh, I'm wearing one earring. Why me? No, I'm not gonna take this off because if I take it off, I'm gonna lose it. So everyone's just gonna deal because I'm dealing. Um, good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl King and Yama, popularly known as King Yama Stalin. I just got out of the gym, so I have quite a bit of energy. I feel great. That workout nearly killed me. I drank a lot of champagne this weekend and I am paying the price, okay? I'm not too sure where to look, so I keep looking between because I'm using my phone to vlog. And um, yeah, I feel amazing. Today is Monday. It's about 7.30 a.m. So I'm just going to go home. This is a weekly vlog, so I'm just going to be taking you guys throughout my day-to-day -day activities throughout the week. I mean, I used to do a lot of these last year, not last year, the year before, and um, I heard you guys miss them, so I am going to be doing them okay. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to go home. I'm not too sure. Like, I feel like usually when I work out, I like to do at least 500 calories, so I'll go to a hit class, and then I'll do an exercise on the stair stepper or is it called the stair stepper or step master i think it's called the step master i would do an exercise on a step master or on the cycle or just a bit of functional strength exercises but i don't have my headphones so i can't do that i could but i'm not in the mood i'm also off pre-workout at the moment um i've been doing um some intermittent fasting and i found out that pre-workout pre-workout breaks you fast so i've been trying to work out without it so i just have a cup of coffee in the morning and um some water and um, it's actually not that bad it's not as bad as i thought it was but obviously when i'm on pre-workout i'm on beast mode like i am fighting for my life but i think i'm slowly getting the hang of it because my body is getting stronger so i feel more i feel gen generally i feel stronger and i feel fit to do the exercises but i'm really proud of myself i feel like sometimes during the class i feel like i want to die honestly i feel like i want to die and then i don't die and i just push through and i don't die and it's a great feeling <laughs> mm. so yeah i highly recommend um gym classes just for anyone who is trying to get back into the swing of gym and stuff because I find that if I come to the gym on my own, like without a friend or a trainer, I get so bored. I do not know what to do and I'll just look around and I and then I just leave and I just listen to some music and then I just leave. And I find that um, attending gym classes helps you um, just train better. Like when there's people training with you, you feel more they push you, you guys push one another to do more like for example if i'm working out and i'm struggling with an exercise and i look to my left and i look in front of me i look behind me and everyone's getting on with it i will want to get on with it but also just that sense of community like it's so nice to see familiar faces in the morning like oh you're here today and even when you don't go you sort of feel bad so um it's a really great way to um stay consistent in the gym and you also burn a lot more calories especially with um hits it's called shape classes on the virgin active app i train at virgin active so i go to hits i go to um no i go to shape and i go to rumble which is boxing i used to do um i go to pilates as well sometimes yoga but i find yoga to be 
really really difficult so i don't really like to do a lot of yoga because i just really struggle struggle with the breathing and stuff even with the step classes i really struggle like my sense of rhythm is so so bad um, obviously i really enjoy the pilates um pilates aligns really great and it also helps i find that doing pilates while you're doing like hits and just generally training helps you um just build a better form so even if you are exercising your posture is right so you are exercising a lot more body parts than you would with the wrong type of posture i don't know if that makes sense so for example if you do like a basic pilates setup well you can't do it for all of your exercises but if you do it for like a couple of your exercises you you work out like your core as well as your legs if you're doing leg exercises yeah it's a whole long story but the girls that get it get it so i really recommend gym classes they're a whole lot of fun and you can just try out different time zones because you can try at different times because i find that sometimes generally i find that the people that go to gym um or at my gym the people that go to gym around like 9 10 are usually like older people and the people that go to gym in the morning like five six are usually like younger more active people so the class is a bit more vibrant and then i find that going to the gym around like nine ten gets a bit uh, you know so yeah even in the afternoon as well um yeah anyway i'm gonna go home i feel like i'm talking too much but i have a whole lot of energy i am looking forward to this brand new week my prayer this morning was god let your spirit of excellency permeate through me let it flow through me this entire week so even when i feel like i am unable to i need god's spirit of just excellency to just shine through and allow me to do the things that i didn't even think i could do so yeah i'm really excited <laughs> let's go home <laughs> I believe that all of your dreams are duration You took my heart, all my keys, and my passion You took my heart, all my sleep, but that oh, yeah. hey guys, I just got out of a meeting And a lot of my meetings now are more like just alignments Like what are your plans for the year? You know, what are you thinking? What are you doing? Who are you? What's going on? Type of thing And so, yeah, just reconnecting with some of um, the brands I used to work with last year And just figuring out if I'm still interested in working with them this year and um what's my sort of angle this year as well and i guess some of their upcoming events and just things to look out for and um yeah it was a really great meeting a really great chat we seem to be quite aligned in terms of what we want from the year and um that's great it's always nice when you can carry over relationships it's it's great to work with brands that you're in relationship with you know what i mean but yeah, I am going to go make um, some breakfast now. My boyfriend and Leafa, my friend. So my boyfriend and Leafa went out last night. And he, they are so hungry. Like, and I'm, I usually eat after 12 because I do intermittent fasting. So I'm going to make some breakfast for them. And then I am going to actually have to call my friend. I <clears throat> am babysitting for her this afternoon. So... I need to figure out what's the plan for that. Hey, babe. What's up, dear? Good. How are you? I'm good. Good afternoon. Good morning. <laughs> you go to the gym? <laughs> yeah, we're still in the morning. Good morning. Morning. So, um, what are we gonna do later? Oh, are you gonna put her in, in the car seat or? Cause I don't think. Yes, and I'm gonna bring her. Oh, you're going to bring her. Yes. Oh, okay. All right, no problem. Oh, are you going out? No, no, no. I'm not. I'm, I was just asking because I saw in your text you were like, I must come. Oh, you're saying you'll oh. come pick her up before eight. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. I'll come drop her. Yeah. All right, no problem. I'm so excited. Right. 
<laughs> I hope she doesn't cry if she doesn't see you. No, no, no. Doesn't. Doesn't. The only thing that makes her cry is uh, if she wants to sleep or she wants to eat. I'm going to know. <laughs> yeah. But at least she's familiar with me. She's like so. every two hours if she's not asleep. Yeah. All right, babe. No problem. I'll see you later. All right, babe. All right, okay. so thank you. Bye. Sure. Got this new grill pan, and best believe I am so excited to use it. Like, so excited. I got it from Brabantia. Bra Bra yeah. You should actually say, I get excited to use any new things that I buy. And don't forget that. Ah, wait. I feel like I'm burning my pan. Yeah, I, I will cook just so I can use the pan. Yeah, that's what I use to be letting <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. As soon as I buy some shit, I can't. Let me add some oil. Oh, I don't know. Are you supposed to add an uh, oil in a grill pan? Yes. Really? Cooking oil, yeah. How do you know that? In a grill pan? No, no. Oh. I'm trying to really get creative with like my lunch ideas. I feel like everyone knows I make a great breakfast, but I don't really know how to make lunch and stuff. So, if I became a mom, I would quit vlogging. It's just not possible to vlog and be a mama. Say hi mama. I feel like I'm Say hi to my vloggy vlog. Mom era. Kisana. In that little mom nanny era. I'm so tired today. Am I tired? Uh, I think it's because I overslept. I don't really sleep till this time, but you know, sometimes it happens, shit happens. Sleep in such a crazy way. I literally fell asleep on the couch and then I woke up at like 4 a.m. and came to bed. That's why I didn't even put on a bonnet. I didn't even get to pajama. gym and it's gonna be load shedding it's actually almost 10 9 48 so i don't really have a lot of time and i don't have oh, any lip gloss dear lord jesus christ i wonder how that's gonna go but yeah the guy parked next to me is so cute the guys that come to gym at this time are so cute. Like, very unserious, cute guys. <laughs> Baby, 
I'm actually just gonna make something to eat because I am starving. I can eat something and I want something with lots of protein. So I got some steak. I know I said I was gonna make salmon today, but just feeling like some steak and some spinach, butternut, you know, those type of vibes. But I'm gonna have a smoothie first. It's very, very smoothie. My therapist says it's very good to have some fruits uh, like first thing in the morning, not morning, but first thing on an empty stomach. So ah! I'm gonna have this nectarine as well. And I'm gonna have a smoothie and have some water while I cook. Don't think I'm gonna show you guys cooking. My battery's a bit low, so yeah, I'll just show you guys what I made. I just got back from the gym. I'm like extremely tired and I don't want to do anything today. But anyway, I'm gonna wash this wig that I want to wear right now. So I'm gonna do that quickly and charge my battery. Yeah. Like I'm trying out intermittent fasting just because I am trying to obviously lose weight. And that's something that I've never tried before. But I found that it actually makes my mornings a lot less complicated. Because if you know me, like I'll come back from the gym and want to make breakfast. And then after I make breakfast, I eat and then I get really tired. So I'm not really productive in the morning because of that. But also Cape Town is really hot this week. I don't know. I think there's like some sort of heat wave going on. And the heat just makes me really, really tired. But yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm trying to lay my way. No, let me tell you guys what happened this morning. Yo, because um, I was really going through it. Hey. This morning I woke up and I have um, a 6.30 class. I had a 6.30 class. And so, I knew that I had to go to it, obviously. So my, my alarm went off at like 4. Was it four? It was five, because I wanted to wake up at five. I feel like when I wake up at five, it gives me enough time to get ready for the gym. So my alarm went off at five and I was just going through a lot. I was going through so much, I just could not do it. I eventually ended up waking up at six and I was just grumpy. So I woke up and I prayed, I prayed about it. I even cried about it because I was just like, oh my goodness, why do I have to work out so hard in the gym? Why am I not skinny? Honestly, I really felt like, why? Why me? You know? Until I went on to um, TikTok and I was searching um, motivation, like gym motivation for women. And I found this video that said, People that work out constantly are not motivated like motiv motivated is the wrong word it's not because they want to do it but it's because they are disciplined and honestly that changed everything for me I was like yeah I am disciplined you know so I found that that really helped me um, it helped make it a lot easier for me to go to the gym because now like my intention was to be a discipline. You know what, but like this year, honestly, I just want to stop doing things because I feel like them. I want to do what I need to get done aside from how I feel. Like, fuck how I feel. That changes so often. And I feel like quite a bit. So I've always found that doing things based off of my feelings doesn't really work that well for me. I'm proud of myself though, I'm proud of it, even though I'm still so exhausted, I cannot wait to just sit down and eat, and you know what, I'm not cooking today, like, so I'm gonna lay my wig, and then I'm gonna, go to the, I'm gonna go to the mall, and run some errands that I wanted to run yesterday, yesterday I wanted to go to the mall and um, soak off my, 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 my nails, but then my friend asked me to babysit again, so I was just like, oh, you know what, let me just do that. I mean, the week is still really long. Yeah. Guys, 
I am officially hungry. Oh, because I'm. Hey Siri, ping my phone. I just left. I'm just wearing black pants. Black pants. White sneakers. And a black bag. And a pair of white shoes. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I, I think this is a vibe. I'm like black and white and shit. You know what I'm saying? Because he's trying to figure out who's in here. <laughs> and he keeps threatening me that, that what? What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'm like, oh, well, if you didn't send me the flowers, then bruh, like, I'm a beautiful woman. Why, would, why, wouldn't, why wouldn't anyone send me flowers? Babe. <laughs> Did you send them? Is it you? Me. I went to the security and he's like, there's no flowers, but I know they're from a boyfriend. Like, I know him. Like, I know him so well. If they weren't from him, he would have been a lot more angrier than that. He would insult me the whole time. Like, ah, are you mad? Are you mad? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who sent me flowers as if it was my fault that someone sent me flowers as if I sent my flower myself flowers as if I gave someone flowers if someone uses my florist they're gonna know my address it's gonna be a surprise that my florist is not gonna ask me hi Kay is it okay if your boyfriend sends you flowers do you remember the last time you sent me flowers did you ask me for my permission? All I want is to go again But you ain't picking your phone up Why you messing oh. my head up? Sorry Any I'm night, any day Let me take you I'm away Oh my god How the life is it good? Are you recording? <laughs> Valentine's Day come early? <laughs> oh my god! Can I see the notes? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, how do you get flowers and don't even check the notes? Baby! Can you see it? Let me think about it. Congratulations, <laughs> too many invitations, and the last night was heavy. It's been lazing around. We have load shedding now, it's like 6 pm. So, we're just gonna go to the um, market, the night market at the VM. It's just something that like happens every Wednesday, and I think on Saturday and Sunday. And we've been meaning to walk um, the puppy, so, well, the little doggy. So, fortunately, they allow um, pets. So, we're just gonna take him with. So dark. I need to shower though, I feel so sticky. Just freshen up, get a change of clothes. Guys, it is 
so hot in Cape Town. Yo, I literally just showered and I am sweating. I'm just waiting for my babe to come and pick us up. Right? Speak of the devil, won't you? Gym. I feel absolutely fantastic. I don't know why, but for some reason, I am always my strongest on a Thursday. Like on a Thursday, I will close my rings almost at like midday, eleven. No, yeah, midday, one p.m. I will close my rings. My rings already closed and done. But anyway, um, oh, I'm exhausted though. But anyway, yes. So my cleaner is at home, and I got flowers yesterday. So I just wanted to get um. A nice big vase for them because i actually bought flowers at the beginning of the week so my vases are full so i just want one big one where i don't have to like stress about separating them and i can just put them like on my counter table and i'm also gonna go to the shopping mall just to get some asparagus for lunch i want to have some salmon i feel like i've been speaking about having salmon the whole week and i still haven't made it but today is the day i want to make a lovely salmon skillet with some lemon butter sauce some garlic and some asparagus either asparagus or i'm just gonna get spinach and butternut i really enjoy the combo it really makes sense really light for me and i just love spinach for my digestive system it really makes everything flow really well so i'm gonna have that because yesterday yesterday we ate so much actually let me go shower because I feel like I look so crusty. I'm so tired. Yo, go see him. Let me go shower and I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about yesterday. We had so much fun. The market was so much fun. It was so full. I don't think we're gonna go with Mars if we do happen to go next time because he's quite a small dog and um, people were like, they weren't stepping over him, but it's just a bit of an inconvenience because you can't exactly carry him. And also, like, the attention when you're with Mars is just too much and i feel like the market is a nice place if you're going, going with like a large group so some people can like sit down and find seating while you guys go and get food and you guys can just swap and um yeah get to look for a vase at h at, at home and get um rose scissors 
I know it's kind of weird that I don't have them, right? I get flowers like all the time and I buy flowers all the time, but I still don't have a cutter. But yeah, we'll see. So this is the vase that I found. It's not that big, but I guess it's like big enough. I'm just showing in proportion to myself. Like it's big to fit at least 80. But it's so expensive. It's literally 500 rand, you know? Other ones are just so small. This is like big enough, but the opening is so tiny. I hate that. People that buy flowers need to normalize buying Amavas by Gitz Ayegile. I decided to go up the road to Foha because I needed a pair of these. I feel like I, I've been needing a pair of these. Like, it doesn't make sense for me not to have one. But look at that. How, how expensive is that? That's crazy. And I decided I'm just going to get... I'm going to go for a pot as opposed to as opposed to a vase it seems like a bit impossible for me to find a vase as big as i need so i'm just gonna opt for this type of pot and you know what like this should be okay again if you want to send someone flowers send them in a vase <laughs> exhaustive when I tell you to hold up my camera is exhausting that's literally how I feel I'm glad I went to gym because I was talking to my friend yesterday Kia, and she was just like you know what I'm not going to gym tomorrow I've decided my body is just not having it and I was like you know what sometimes it's okay sometimes your body can just not have it but then I woke up again today and I'm so beat. I've literally burnt a thousand calories today. It's not even one, it's okay, it is 1 p.m. But yeah, I think maybe I might feel better after I eat. Oh, but I'm finished. I'm hoping to do like the millions of errands that I've needed to run since the beginning of the week. Like, most importantly, I really hope to soak off my nails. What type of lady? Has these nails. Look at that. I'm missing a thumb on this hand as well. Very ghetto, but I'm gonna get some lunch first. That's delicious. Oh, I'm so sad. I literally want something to hold this camera up for me. Oh, my back is killing me. You know, like every day I have people wait. Let me actually go into this because I need some products for my skin. And I just have an idea, a feeling I'm not gonna find this toner. The toner was sold out. But it's interesting though because literally the lady found, um, found me looking and she's like, Are you looking for the glow toner? I'm like, yeah and she's like girl it sold out yesterday at 5 p.m we got the stock at four and it was sold i'm like what and i'm like do you know i literally made it popular and she's like wait are you okay are you okay i'm like yeah and she's like oh my god
Waxing is really painful though, like you can never get used to it. You just have to tell yourself that the pain lasts a couple of seconds and then you'll be done. But today, uh, I am used to it now. I've been waxing for years and I'm not used to it. I always still scream and want to cry and want to run away. So after the first pull, you're just like, what am I doing here? Really, really, like what made me come here? <laughs> You still apply more eggs? I'm checking, double checking. Sure. Mm. I want it to be neat and clean. You are here to do your works. <laughs> true, true, true. That's you. Mm. I can't wait to be done. Oh my god. And I said I wanted to do legs today, but I think I'll just shave. I'm really okay. friends after the long day that I had I got home trying to make myself some hookah and load shedding is that not a bitch I'm so sorry is that not a oh I hate it here I hate load shedding with my whole entire existence I'm going to go up. I'll come to you. it about taking a bath that makes you want to like, get on top of the bed afterwards like your body becomes so relaxed I decided to go for a walk with my puppy I'm gonna show you guys my outfit wearing this cute orange two-piece I got this from H&M I love it so much my friend Luyanza for lunch it's 12 so it's a it's like lunch time for me I just grabbed a smoothie on my way out because I find that if I have a smoothie before I eat it makes me it helps me make better food choices like I don't like making food choices when I'm too hungry so I like to have a smoothie but just before deciding on what to eat because if I don't Oh my god, especially if I'm eating at a restaurant. If I don't, I can order the whole restaurant and it's not cute. I am trying out intermittent fasting at the moment and I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say that I feel like I've lost weight. No, I don't think I've lost weight. In fact, I feel like it's really slowed down my metabolism, which I had on lock. I feel like I had my my metabolism at a really good place because I, I was eating a lot more. And, you know, doing small things like eating fruits on an empty stomach, eating a, a lot more meals and smaller portions, drinking a lot of water. But now that I'm intermittent fasting, the main, like the only meal that I ever eat is probably just lunch. And then I don't eat anything later on because I'm not that hungry. And you know what? Like, I know I'm doing it wrong. And I think next week I want to plan better in terms of that. 
it's been great though i feel very comfortable i feel very comfortable confident i feel like i can eat whatever i want and i don't have a negative relation like i used to have a really negative relationship with food if i was at a restaurant and i ate something i would immediately feel like oh my gosh i am now fat you know i've gained weight because i'd be bloated and it just was not cute so i feel a lot more confident to eat whatever i want to eat which i know is the wrong thing i know i should be eating healthy still but yeah anyway i think next week i'm just in a space where i'm just taking it like really easy i'm not being too hard on myself at the end of the day i'm just trying to do better for myself and it's not for anyone else so i can't kill myself you know so yeah but next week i'm going to try and focus on eating more eating more more times in a day like not more food in smaller portions because i feel like that's gonna help boost back my metabolism again i don't know but yeah today right now i'm actually gonna meet up with leanza for lunch my friend and i'm gonna have a hot dog i am just going to eat and eat but i feel better now because i've had a smoothie and i'm gonna have water to drink Hopefully we can go and smoke some shisha afterwards, like, it's a Friday! really really hot i'm not gonna lie Ugh, i know my butt is gonna fucking burn ah! hi hi there i'm jane sissy 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 okay can i do you, can i use cash please i haven't run cash thanks a lot Cause what she is, how am I? Yo, this week in Jebek she's a valley. Mm. Even if you have fifty, it's fine. Get that. Get on. Babeling, babeling, eating, eating. Thanks, Susie. Shop, kasi bye. Trying to make some chicken wraps. You know me. I always gotta make sure my, my family's fed. You know what I'm saying. So these are just some chicken thighs that I've cut up. And I'm gonna fry some onions as well. We got some tequila over here. Some orange juice.
So loud out here, the doors are open. I just finished cleaning a little bit and it's 12 p.m. already, which means I can eat. So no. Mm. I've already been doing it for two weeks. Eight. And they're like, wait, use it, and it's all beaten, and it's like, it's all beaten, and it's like, it's all beaten. So yeah, I'm going to make some breakfast now, and then, I bought some drinks earlier, because I was just like, I don't really plan on doing anything today, I just want to show in the house, drink, smoke some shisha, and stuff, so I'm going to make some breakfast, and then we're just going to chill, and, um, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Oh god, the problem is that I'm so tired. I miss my drink. <laughs> yeah, I'm I was just chilling on the couch. What are you watching? Watching, we're learning about the race. Right. Jesus, so that we can go near to it. I literally needed that in my mom's head. Look at him. I'm sorry, boss. She's trying to take you out. I literally needed that in my head. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he hates me. <laughs> what are we watching? F1. Drive to survive. What's she learning about the. Because we want to go into a So, whatever, fine. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so So it's a Sunday today, and I'm gonna read you something I wrote in my journal. Um, I am so happy to be in the space that I'm in. I'm really happy to just be where I am and not be caught up in the past or be obsessing over the future. I'm just taking things one day at a time and it is serving me so well. I'm honoring my feelings and I'm realizing that I have them for a reason. I know I need to feel it to heal it. I'm committed to the things I say I'm going to do and most importantly, I'm showing up just as I am. On Saturday, I had a moment where I was praying in the car before my Pilates class and I only had two minutes to do it and I started crying because my heart was aching so much. See, I was hurting but I wasn't allowing myself because I felt like it was all my fault and some things aren't actually as simple as they seem. It was complicated but all I knew in that moment was that I was hurting and I needed God to help me just through that morning. I got up and out of the car with my puffy red eyes and I found myself a spot at the back of the class and I did the best that I could do. And I remember constantly telling myself, just focus, just focus. I found myself focused on the class, my movement, my body, and before I knew it, 
what I was going through in the car felt a whole lot lighter. I felt so good about myself for getting through that class. And then I went on a walk afterwards and I realized that sometimes you just have to let life continue. You need to commit yourself to things that add value to your life and you need to show up to them just as you are. God will certainly give you strength for the rest of it. I then went on to Google and found a verse for the specific way I was feeling, just in case someone needs it. Psalm 143 verse 8 says, Let me hear you in the morning. Let me hear in the morning of your steadfast love. For in you I trust. Make me know the way I should go. For to you I lift up my soul.